Hello, this is a quick demo of the AI26 line in out interface. Available now at AISynthesis.com and other fine retailers as a built and tested module with a warranty, as a kit, PCB panel, just a PCB, however you want it, we can do it. Right now, we are listening to a drum loop, line level drum loop being amplified by the AI26, which is that being fed and filtered into QPass. Let's hear how it sounds going just line level direct in. So you can hear it, right? You can totally just put a line level thing into your Eurorack system and it will have audio. It just won't be as high fidelity because it's just too quiet. So you're not going to get the depth or the range or any of that. Let's explain why that is. So on our green line, we have our drum loop that's coming out of Ableton Live directly out and into the first input of the Mordex data. Now we can see, compared to the blue line, which is just an AI11 oscillator standard, um, that it's much quieter. It's about plus minus two volts, as opposed to the AI11, which is plus minus five volts, which is what your rack devices like the QPass are expecting to see. So to get the best audio fidelity, what we can do is take that line level out, plug it into the AI26 line level in, stereo, but we'll just put the left. It's gonna to mirror to the right, but we're not gonna worry about that right now. And then take that Eurorack level out, and put that into the red line. And now with the level control, we can control that level, because if you're like me, you don't always normalize everything. You might need to gain it up. When the knob is about at three o'clock, that's quote unquote unity where if you put a, a perfect you know, level in, that it would get to the plus minus five volt. But you can add a little bit of juice if you want. Um, use your ears. If it's distorting, dial it back. In this case, we're working with a professional drum loop from, I don't know, some Ableton library, I have no idea. But it's already normalized and has been processed, so it doesn't need any additional gain to get to that plus minus five volt. It's good to go. Now, the AI26 can also do the opposite, which is to say take a Eurorack level signal and output it for line level. So you can take your Eurorack level in, we'll grab that VCO signal, put that to the Euro level in. I'll remove the drum loop just so remove the visual noise. And then we take the line level out and we see that on the red line now. And we can see that when we turn that all the way up, that plus minus five volt signal, which is should be like the max that you're generating from your Eurorack system, is now that plus minus two volt system that like your sampler or your MPC or whatever, you know, or even your DAW, depending on how you set the inputs of your audio interface, would be expecting. So you can use it as a master output, um, or if you're like me and you love to get your Eurorack into other samplers and other devices to mess with it there, it's perfect for that as well. More details are at AISynthesis.com. Thanks so much for watching.